crazy massive actually. Oh, I'm excited. Like this is a dream come true for me. They're out here for the adventure and that's what it's all about. Well, after my 2018 whitetail, he, uh, he was a 200 inch whitetail and I never thought I would top that in my lifetime, but uh, early in 2019, in August actually, as soon as we got our cameras up, we picked up one of our target deer and he really blew up and he was a uh, 200 plus deer. So we started hunting him right away in September and uh, obviously sat every chance we got and hung a million trail cameras all over the place tried to get a pattern on him and uh, hunted him hard for safety. sit number 15 or so for this deer and uh, there's not a lot of deer in the area so it's it's long sits because you don't see many deer I spoke too soon was just packing up and here comes a buck
Oh, he's down. Yes. Man, I was so lucky. That was 100% not staged. I, uh, I did my spiel for the camera saying the hunt was over, we were done. I was heading out and I just unhooked the camera and was taking it off. And I looked and I could see a buck working a scrape. I thought it was a small buck, but it was him. It was the monster, not typical. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh man, he's got just junk everywhere, just a giant. I was trying not to look at his rack, but I couldn't help it, and he is a monster. We had him on camera last year, and we didn't hunt him. He had a double beam last year and a big six-point typical side, but we didn't hunt him. Partly because he, uh, he broke one of his beams off, actually. But I didn't think he was a super old deer then, but probably four or five. Which means this year he's probably five, six. Maybe seven, but he's huge, and he's right there. <laughs> <laughs> that was our, I don't know, 15th, 16th, 18th hunt for this buck. And he was on camera in the daytime quite a bit, but we just couldn't catch up to him. It's a tricky area, lots of wind swirling. I moved the blind a few times and I tried not to come in too often just when the wind was perfect. But i uh, been hunting him since the beginning of September and it's now middle of November. So it took two and a half months to get him, plus all of last year. And like I said, we had cameras everywhere. Last year we worked hard to try and figure him out. And uh, the spring I shed hunted in this area like crazy with my kids all over the place. We never did find a sheds, but we found this big swamp back here and it was just loaded with rubs and scrapes. And that's why we set up in this spot because of the, the scouting we did in the spring. And I was sure this was the area he used. And sure enough, bam, in August we picked him up. Oh, I can't believe I got him. Look at that buck. Look at this thing. Man, oh man. Just a monster white tail. That's a dream buck. Like what dreams are made of, literally. Man, the mass and the color and the character. Incredible deer. Just incredible. Six point typical on that side with a bunch of junk on his bases. And I don't even know what he is over here. 13 or 14, double beam, drop tine, big inline tine in the front, huge. The king of the forest right there. Big frame too, like big, heavy, heavy, heavy deer. See, he's been rutting like crazy in here. Look at that deer.